Celebrate Cape fans, uh, DJ Bricks here, back for another review. And before we get started, as always, uh, please uh, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Uh, in in uh, particular, uh, if you like the Harry Potter content, I do try to upload every Thursday and uh, ring that bell so you are notified when I upload uh, new content there. And uh, getting into today's review, I have a Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Moment Charms Quest. Uh, it is uh, set number 76385. It is recommended for building ages 8 and up. It has 256 pieces and it retails for uh, $30 here in the United States. And uh, it is the next in, that we're going to be taking a look at in this uh, new uh, Hogwarts moment line where the, it is the uh, this little classroom inside of a book gimmick that they came up with for this year. And um, it does have a new version of Flitwick and we will get into all that and seeing how it stacks up starting as always with the minifigures. So looking at the first main figure of the set, it is uh, Harry Potter. Uh, he only comes in the set for this variant. Uh, he does have his wand in a dark brown there, as always. Uh, he does have that stylized uh, torso print for these book sets with a little shield on the torso there. Uh, this is not exclusive to the set. It comes in the Transfiguration one as well. And uh, the head and hair are nothing new. They've been here since uh, the start of the line. But uh, if you haven't seen it before, uh, there's the alternate face. But that does it for looking at uh, the Harry Potter here. Let's move on to the other figures of the set. So, uh, the Ravenclaw representation we have for this set is uh, Cho Chang here. Uh, she is... Um, and that stylized version where she has the she is in the kind of a stylized torso for these Hogwarts Mormon sets. Um, I will note that uh, she should have come with mid legs because she is a year older than Harry, but um, she is with the short legs for some reason. Uh, she has the uh, standard uh, Harry Potter one piece in um, in uh light brown there and uh, taking her hair off you can get a better look at that torso again it's the uh, Hogwarts moments torso just in Ravenclaw colors there uh, her skin tone is the exact same that they've been having for the past couple of years I don't see a problem with it though uh, other people in the community do and that head is not new either it's the same one we got last year for Joe and then um, she does come with that uh, hair piece from last year too in uh, black but uh, that does it for Cho Chang. Save the uh, best figure for last we have a new version of Flitwick and what's so special about this version is he is based off of uh, Flitwick's appearances in the first two movies which is different from how he appears uh, later on in the series when they redesigned him. But uh, we have never gotten um, a figure based off that version before. They always seem to want to do his uh, post uh, Goblet Fire appearance. But um, he does come with a standard uh, reddish brown wand. He comes with a uh, reuse of the, uh, the Hobbit uh, Ballin and Dwalin uh, beard there in all white, which is a nice recolor for that piece. Uh, he comes with a nice olive green torso with a nice print on it. I, I will remove that beard so we can take a closer look at the head and uh, torso beneath. Uh, there is a look at the torso and his face unobscured. It is printed very nicely, very resembles what he looked like in those first two films. Uh, there is a nice uh, copper uh, metallic finish to his torso as you can see there, which is nice. And um, there is no alternate face just because of uh, the bald nature of his head preventing him from having an extra uh, face. But putting his uh, beard back on, that does it for the figures of the set. 
and uh, let's uh, get down to the actual build of the set here. So taking a look at the actual build of the set, uh, very exteriorly it is the exact same as uh, the previous looked at uh, potions one, although you do have this book in a nice sand blue color with uh, the yellow highlights. Uh, you have a nice uh, print here on the front of the book here. It is different. It, it does have more uh, charms uh, related uh, iconography on it as well as the Hogwarts crest on the spine. You have built up the same but you have a, a charms looking sticker on the cover there. And uh, back of the cover here you do have just a blank slate as well as uh, these little tan pieces which connect to the in to uh, the other books in the line and uh, looking at um, how this side of the book this this does a far better job of um, of uh, parts matching than the previous looked at uh, potions book at least there is a little bit of consistency here here between the colors except for this part right here this part stands out but at least it's a little bit better of uh, making it look like an actual book but uh, it can open up like the previous one and then you can fold several parts out like that these two parts fold out these two come down to sort of form a desk here and uh, this Oh. Yeah, be careful for that. And uh, these, this comes down, uh, this chest comes down, and then this comes down for a nice uh, look here. And uh, taking a look at all these individual pieces, uh, the desks here, they are nice. Uh, they, they're built on this side here, just um, have a nice little thing here. Uh, the and then the benches, you can just set a figure there, have them practicing a spell, and you get two of those. Uh, the treasure chest here has uh, a few things in it. It has a teacup, it has a cookie in it for some reason, and it has a couple of feathers, uh, just so you can uh, role play the uh, Wingardium Leviosa lesson if you so choose. Uh, this little cabinet here can fold open if you want and it has a cup and a key in it if you want to play with those pretend to cast some spells with those and uh, this main uh, uh, this is supposed to be Flitwick's desk and it has uh, two stickers on it uh, one on this side and one on the other they're different it's just supposed to represent a stack of books just due to the description within the books. Uh, and Flitwick just stands on there to direct the classroom. But uh, getting all those out of the way, just to take a look at uh, the actual uh, inside covers here. You do have this nice ornate uh, window build here along with this cupboard. Um, there is nothing in it. I suppose you could put the book in there when you're not using it. So there is at least storage space for it. Uh, this window here is a stickered piece. Uh, you do have some nice shaping up towards the top here for a little bit of ceiling here. On this side of the book cover you have a sticker here that has a bunch of incantations as well as, well as uh, the Ravenclaw flag. You get a nice little build here for a bookcase with a sticker. I will note that you can see mine is crooked because I, had, you will have a hard time getting fingers in there to place the stickers. A chalkboard here which has a sticker on it. Mine's a little creased just due to my stickers uh, coming in the box creased. Um, you have a fireplace here that just folds out. It's pretty open. You have a sticker above here for the a little ornate decoration above it. And then on this side of the classroom, it's pretty much the same. You have an archway. You have a bookcase here, along with more stickers. Those 
three are stickers. That's a sticker too. And uh, on one of the tables there, you do have a letter print, which is not new, but does come in the set. And then just folding it back up is pretty easy. You just fold those back in. You take the uh, cabinet here, put it on this. Take this, put this here. Put the treasure chest right there. You just put the benches as such. And uh, you just put those like that. And then it just shuts all nice and perfectly and snug. And uh, that does it for the main build of the set. Uh, let's move on to the box and extra pieces and whatnot. Looking over the extra pieces for the set, uh, it's fairly uh, standard with some. Uh, you get a couple of extra tiles, um, extra stamp piece and tan, uh, some some more uh, bare parts like um, these flying pieces here. Uh, you get one extra one on a sprue, an extra key on a sprue. Uh, cookie and weirdly enough I did get an extra a uh, teacup in the set you're only supposed to get one but I got an extra one I don't know if that's in every set but uh, I did get one uh, but that does it for the extra pieces okay so looking at the instruction manual uh, first off my instruction manual kind of came uh, bent and bent in the box and uh, pretty straightforward build. I didn't encounter uh, one issue here where um, they uh, have a uh, chose hand held out like you're supposed to put one there, but they don't actually put a picture of it in the instructions. So that was a bit of a miss. Uh, overall, this instruction booklet is pretty uh, straightforward. You do have uh, 77 pages of building there. Uh, on the back pages, we do have a two-page spread for a cross all promoting all the uh, classroom moments line. Uh, you have a second page here is just uh, advertising a cross sell for the uh, 2020 wave, as well as your yeah, back page, as always, is just a parts list in case you need to reorder a piece or whatnot. And then the back of the instruction manual here is uh, the win, as always, but uh, they have a generic minifigure on the back for that. And I will also note, along with uh, my instruction manual, my uh, sticker sheet was pretty uh, badly damaged. The box, it's uh, the same as the uh, potion style one that they have for these uh, Hogwarts moments. Uh, you got the logo up there with the uh, Wizarding World. You got a nice uh, little product shot here uh, showcasing what is actually going on with the set here. Uh, main figure call out down there. On uh, top of the box has a uh, Flitwick uh, sporting the actual size reference. Side of the box actually has a nice little um, play scenario with it and then in the back of the box you actually have to flip it on its side here and the back of the box here on its side uh, just shows you uh, what you can do with the set as well as a little cross all uh, for the other sets but uh, that does it for the box for my final thoughts uh it is um it is a nice set uh the build wise it it is similar to the uh, previous looked at potions class um, I, I imagine the build is going to be the same across the board for these sets, but the interior build, uh, while it is a little bit more sparse than that previous set, uh, there is enough here where the build is still interesting. There is some nice part usage, some nice part recolors. Uh, big emphasis on uh, role playing though, uh, with all that you can do I, with a set uh, playing with it. Uh, Minifigure wise, um, Harry, I expected him to be in one of these sets and it, and uh, this is a perfect inclusion for him. Uh, show, I, I would have liked to have seen um, 
uh, mid legs on her, but I understand she's here because it's a uh, Ravenclaw themed one. And a uh, big highlight of the set is uh, that new Flitwick uh, based off his uh, appearance in the first two movies. Uh, great to get that f version of the character in um, Lego form. Uh, quality issues, I had a bunch. I, I already pointed them out. The little issue in the instruction manual with the instruction manual and uh, my sticker sheet arrived uh, bent as hell. I couldn't get some of the stickers as you saw fully on the plates. Uh, so those are stuff to look out for. Um, as for that uh, $30 price, like I said with uh, the potions one, um, that $30 price point is a nice um, nice price point for these books. And um, if you are Ravenclaw House or you are an avid Harry Potter fan, I highly recommend picking this up. Um, even if you, if you if you have a kid who likes Harry Potter, they like role playing, they can they will enjoy the set too so all in all I'd have to give this set a solid 8 out of 10 for me uh, that'll do it for uh, this review uh, comment below let me know what you think of the set yourself and I will see you in the next review until next time keep building